welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor by Zoe. That's right, that's what we got going on today. This is going to be a deck that is, um, was a viewer submitted donation deck, but was one that was built by Steve Rubin, uh, Rubin Zoo. Th those of y'all that know him, he's a uh, one of the main developers with Rune Terror, at least uh, people that like test out the cards and, and make the new cards and everything like that, make the balance patch changes. So this was a deck that he was playing um, that he put together that looks uh, very interesting. We got our main champion's going to be Zoe with three copies, but then our other two champions are going to be both Victor and Vi. I've always really liked Vi and, of course, Victor too, but like Vi I've always thought has been an underrated card ever since it got nerfed down to four health instead of five. You know, when it's at five health, it was all over the place. But still, I think this is just a, a champion that does a great job controlling the board and slowing the game down, and I think that that's something that um, a Targon deck really values, and this can be a card that can uh, just uh, be able to kill different champions and everything like that. So tons of little one ofs here and there, uh, you know, because we have uh, different cards for different situations, basically. Um, so it'll be interesting to try out. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it. So let's play some Victor by Zoe. Here we go. Um, oh, Leona Aurelian Soul. Leona's the other champion, not Shivana. So we'll go ahead and mulligan the star shaping out of our opening hand. And I'll keep the rest of them. Alright, turn one Zoe. It's gonna make our life a little easier. I think I'm just playing Mountain Goat here. So I'd like to play these other created cards after Victor for Victor's Augment. If I play the super cool star chart now, we won't get the hex core upgrade. I could let Zoe hit first. I can also always hush. I can also a territory improvement, the serpent. A great mind must never idle. I guess they're playing Demacia, so they can sharp side as well. They must all improve. I call this constellation the Jump Rope. Getting damage on, on the Leona is going to definitely make that thing easier to kill. I am the bulwark against darkness. We're at six right now. Nine. No. Ugh. 
Maybe we should be just discarding the Mentor of the Stones instead of the Hush. Oh, man, they did have Sharp Sight. Man, that was that was a good card right there. That Moonlight Affliction. Yeah, that was that was terrible because I was I was about to go, you know, level up then play Trickster and, and you know give all of my units. Uh, I'll give them all elusive. That's what I was going to do. Two turns away from the Scourge, I can play the Cosmic Inspiration now. We do seem like a pretty good Cosmic Inspiration deck. Hmm. That was one card away from leveling up to. Thanks, Mystic Shot. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Get some gems. Spacey's catcher. Get some more celestial cards for us. They think themselves cultured. <laughs> we grab the messenger, keep that card advantage going. This is possible next turn with the help of Mystic Shot. And like a bastion on the trickster, like maybe we can have lethal if they don't have another sharp sight. Stare. A familiar face for you, Terrans. <sighs> okay, so I'd only have eight mana with this. That's I can't use the nine I can't get the nine mana double obliterate. If I would have just cast that moon silver earlier, I would have had that leveled up. Zoe, I think. Um but anyway, I'm pretty sure we're just dead. Because this is going to be 12, 17. I guess I can shoot that thing. So 12, 17. Should I shoot one of them? 20. So it's 20. Overwhelm. This gets challenged. 12. I guess I'm not quite dead yet. Alright, not quite dead yet. And lights the oh, right. I need to shoot that before. Can I paint you? Believe or burn. this up. I guess if I would have got for Mystic Shot, they would have sharp sighted and saved it, kept their thing alive. So now I don't have that that Bastion protection for this Grave Beyond, unfortunately. 
but that's two sharp sights gone. As far as blocking's concerned. I do love an audience. Who's a good boy? Grapion, get him. Wow. Celestials are messed up. Yeah, so star shaping, star shaping only gets. So Pratt's asked why didn't why not get the six mana obliterate off of star shaping? It can only get the celestial cards that cost seven or more. So we you cannot get the six mana obliterate from star shaping. It's just not possible. Let's just set them all back. Don't really need to keep any of them because we want turn one Zoe. Nope. Yeah, oh yeah, Coralis, this is the deck you donated. Cool, cool. Yeah, so far so good. So pretty likely they kill Zoe, but I guess we'll just force them to be able to do that. There's not really a reason to hold on to Zoe. Alright, so the gem that we get here is going to give us a discard card. So we can get, us, get excited to see Scarab. So Jaw Hunters is pretty likely here. Jaw Hunters to kill Victor. I guess Victor would have had the champion spell for Victor is that death ray. Yeah, definitely like killing the Sea Scarab. Yeah, how they're how they're sitting there thinking they definitely have Jaw Hunters. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. What's your upgrade, Victor? There's an energy core upgrade to overwhelm. Hush the Abyssal Eye. should be able to heal that six back without too much trouble. So seven mana next turn. Okay, well, I can't really stop Nautilus. 
It looks like that's what they're going to be playing here. But I guess it could be um, six mana sea monster as well. That was. Yeah, this, this is these are hard choices. This is a difficult deck, difficult game to play. So first bull is at ten. It will now draw us a card. or some other kind of keyword. I guess I should have gone, yeah, I should have gone with the fleeting card, shouldn't I? I guess it just got nat it was natural to discard the gem, but yeah, that was just a mistake. I should have discarded the fleeting card. I guess I need to jump this Victor to level up Victor. Make my credit cards cost one less. Mortal fire it is. Metal is I mean, it was yeah, it was just Victor's champion spell. Huh? Celestials with iterative improvement. Seems kind of crazy. Uh, do I need to hush that thing? No, not really. I want to have them attack first before hushing. Alright, 
Uh, what did we just get? Oh, it looks like Spell Shield. Yes, of course. I was looking over on the list on the left, and I was like, we already had all those. I couldn't see what the last one was, but yeah, it looks like it's just Spell Shield. Alright, Elusive. Quick Attack will work. Quick Attack's good. Get that Quick Attack Scout, Overwhelm, Lifesteal, Fury. Yeah, Quick Attack will, will do. Gets rid of spell shield. They must all I guess even if they do have ruination, this immortal fire comes back. So that'll do. So even if but if their plan was ruination, they would have just played the ruination, of course, first. So that could have been their plan. Maybe it was atrocity. And they wanted to block an atrocity and kill it. Timo Ezreal. Timo Ezreal's a good deck. I kind of like everything. I think I really like a Terrative Improvement because Puffcat Peddler is like the card that I'm super scared of. And we can a Terrative Improvement and steal their Puffcat Peddlers. Maybe I get rid of Hush. I don't really need Hush. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. my doggos. Fact, I am superior life form. Not and ready. Safety disengaged. I won't miss. Well, mana failure cards are awesome. Bastion's just going to be a little rough. That four mana. Which side was upside again? Whichever way the paint drips, Zoe. Trying to keep that available. Gonna just run out of space in hand. Safety disengaged. Why 
out of this attack token thing here. There we go. That goes away. So he's at seven. Eight. Oh, that fashion was just too expensive. I got pretty bad value with that fashion. Prime and ready. Safety disengaged. Hey, take it to the gun show. Still super worried about Peddler. Puff Cat Peddler, that is. Elusive. Well, how about that? Can you improve perfection? So I'm considering challenging the pupper and then attacking it with everything and kind of forcing their ballistic bond and Ezreal to do some blocking. The obvious play is just challenge the Ezreal. Then their 3 3 pupper gets to block my bots. Maybe I just don't attack the bots. They don't know what they're up against. So Morted, how the how the predictions work is whatever you put on predicting, you don't necessarily just win that. So like if you if you wager one hundred channel points. You're not going to necessarily just win 100 if on win and then I win. You don't just win 100 channel points. It's It takes all the amount that's on one side and all the amount that's on the other side. Like it, Those are what's in the pool. And so if you wager on win and everybody else wagers on win and nobody really wagers on loss, then y'all aren't going to win anything. You, you win whatever is on the other side. Seriously? Why? System upgrade. Electroplating completed. Okay, so it's elusive and spell shield now. Perfection. Okay, so they're out of thermogenic beams. It's the last Ezreal. Scout would have been nicer. Fire till nothing moves. System upgrade. See, I'm not spending any mana on mine. Which is pretty nice. Bad. 
You're between me and glory. Wow, just taking it all. Just be not that scared of my... Um, my ignitions. Can you improve perfection? Another brilliant design. Okay, should have done this. Should have done this last turn. I don't know why. Th why I was thinking like way to turn and have star shell star shaping help me out. Should have just done that previous turn. All right, we got it though. Cause yeah, they could have had a couple more burst cards that could have killed me. All right, three no. Ooh, Thresh Nasus. This is gonna be a good Hush matchup. At least you know Nasus is weak against Hush. There's Hush. There's Sunburst. Also, both good cards, but we need other stuff early. Got a couple of Spacey Sketchers. By my side. Hmm. Really like to wait till turn three before I start playing Spacey Sketchers and discarding Ignitions. This could be too greedy. I'm taking, taking two extra damage, because otherwise I would just discard another Sketcher. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. That's pretty aggressive. Can you improve perfection? Pride failed us forever. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. I wonder why they were willing to attack with the 3-1, but not the 2-1. Or I guess, oh, because just the pod, they just want to attack the 2-1 into the pod. Alright, I guess that makes sense. Probably worth it. No way from home. It's probably worth it. Thresh down. And if they attack with both, I'm just blocking the 4 1. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Prime and ready. 
Alright, so far so good. I think kind of like killing the Curse Keeper and not letting them, you know, blight a Caretaker it. Spirit Leech, Glimpse Beyond, all that kind of stuff. I think that it's worth killing the Curse Keeper. I know we give them the 4-3, but I think that's worth it. Look what good comes of mortal greed. I could see this plus two plus two being really nice to have. Penance is to serve, curator. You serve the Empire. I am but your guide. Humanity is obsolete. Hey, <laughs> yeah, Targon games are long. Right now we're longer than either of the first two videos, and we're in game four. didn't give me the opportunity to um, to hush Can you improve perfection all right so now we got another celestial card in hand by playing that star shaping Gonna be saving the spell mana. What good comes of mortal greed? Punishment if I serve as an example. You think Great Beyond was a better choice than Living Legends? I think Living Legends can like find a Great Beyond like at worst, usually. Okay, let's see. So we're at 9 out of 10 for this. I have casted... I guess I have casted gem already. Can you improve perfection? Everyone's a god! Nope, wrong card. Now we'll have Subversible enabled. Obviously the Thresh will level up. <clears throat> so doing that to get the Thresh down to 3 health so that if we find her get excited, we'll be able to kill Thresh with that. No, I don't think Targon can rally. Yeah, they're, they're scared of Hush. They're not a, attacking because of Hush. So, Creates cards cost one less. Let's 
One, one mana short from playing Living Legends here. That would have been awesome to be able to play Living Legends also. I guess if I didn't play that Pell Cascade. No materials, no improvements. Fearsome. Oh, we weren't expecting callers. No, no, no. Okay, there's get excited. I can kill Thresh. Five mana. I don't have to really worry about atrocity. I do have to worry about siphoning strike. Um. Ugh, gross. The sweet tones of misery. No, 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 no! Prime and ready. Ingenious. First one is easy to deal with with Hush, it's the second one. No, no. No, 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 no. So ordinary. No, no. Hold still. Sixteen thirteen. It's all about atrocity. Right now, one atrocity doesn't kill me, but two atrocities could. See what we see, soldier. Metal is perfection. Energy core upgrade. Gives that elusive. Draw Thresh. Really hoping that's Thresh. Rise, metal brethren. Thresh. I don't know how I win if they have two atrocities. I could have done like one damage to this and, and you know see if we would have drawn the MK2 to be able to try to kill that for the other thing, but then they could have played like if this was Thresh, they could have just played Thresh last turn. It's like if they have two atrocities, I think I just lose. I can't I can't really think of any way I win. Hey, <laughs> yeah, bash it on Nexus. No, no, I wish. No. Wow. They didn't have it. No double atrocity. I was worried there. One step closer. 
Fiora Zed. Okay, haven't seen Fiora in a little bit. But this is going to be like an all-in deck with those two. The Fangs, do you help? Probably. Somehow. Not exactly sure how. It's not a matchup I feel like I have to be fast against unless they go Zed here on turn three. Then I'll feel bad. By my honor, you must die. Would have rather discarded you, Mountain Goat. need another small unit. We need to moon silver the star shaping cards. Let them eat souls. The finest blades for my I need only one. Where we could we could use a hush. Or an obliterate. I hope they don't have deny. Really hope they don't have deny. Ooh, sunburst is nice. Doesn't make me spend all my mana. Okay, no deny there. You're covered. That's a real good sign for us. Real good sign. That's always definitely dead. Between fight spell, sharp sight, or whatever. But we'll just play it out here and try to get the. Yeah, like I said, that's always definitely dead. Um, I mean, I could bash it and save it, but that doesn't really seem worthwhile, does it? I don't think so. I think that Zoe just gonna be dead. One girl wrecking crew. And that's how it's gonna be. Hush is perfect. Because between like other sharp sights and stuff like that, I, I just didn't want to fight that battle of trying to protect Zoe the whole game. Hit him where it hurts. Trouble coming at ya. Freeze. I'm gonna have triple star shaping to help finish out games. Like I, I can't really imagine my opponent wins this game from here. have this. They're going to need a champion and a bunch of denies and a bunch of other stuff, but definitely some denies. I don't know. I It's hard to see. Hard to see it happen. Protect and strike.
Yep, looking like a 5-0 deck here. using some mana. Oh, they still get the attack? I always forget about that. Should have just hushed. Okay. I tried being polite. Trouble coming at ya. Get wrecked. Be a nice and nice and patient. Always two steps ahead. Cards and Strike will be good. <laughs> Poor opponent just has two cards left. Targon is silly. You got me. Poor Zoe. Zoe's like, you don't even care about me. And here's where I paint my constellation. All right, that will do. No judgment. And that's a knockout. All right, so our deck was was really cool. You know, 5-0, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> that's as good as we can do. That was a uh, very good showing. Star shaping, awesome. And just, you know, just Targon, Celestial cards in general. But then even Victor, like we created a lot of cards, you know, whether it was just the Targon, Celestial cards, or Ballistic Bot with the Ignitions. Um, we were creating lots of cards, and so we were able to play leveled up Victor, and then leveled up Victor, making uh, them all cost one less, making all those cost zero, was definitely a big deal. Um, so Percival was awesome, being a 5-5 five, five elusive plus draw card for five mana. Everything was good. I really liked Sunburst. Um, the Fangs was pretty good. I don't know if Fangs is three of good, but it was pretty good. Um... But yeah, you know, it's nice having a Sum Treasure or a Solari Priestess or a Metro of the Stones in different scenarios. The Pill Cascade was just fine. You know, it's just a nice little one of. We had decent removal. Mystic Shot, Get Excited. Improvement did its thing. Yeah, there wasn't any card in here that didn't do anything. Even Poro Cannon. Poro Cannon helped grow our Ballistic Bots and also gave me a blocker for Teemo and Ezreal. So even Poro Cannon did its thing. So there we go. Good deck. Um, I think this deck really shows like the power of having ones and two ofs. I'm somebody who just says that people in general, especially in their mid range decks, don't don't play nearly enough one and two ofs. They play just lots of people just play tons of three ofs. Right? People would probably just be like, all right, like building this. They'd be like, all right, three, three mountain goat, three solari priestess, three this, three that. And I just think that it's it's really nice having options for how long those games go and how many and uh, you know, how many cards you draw. You just have like a variety of cards in your hand depending on you know what the turn looks like and and everything. Um, there's there's so many cards that are close in power level that it makes sense to play a variety of them whenever they're going to be better or worse in different spots. 
you know, sometimes you want like your mentor, the stones that can do its support thing and get you the gems to have the creative cards. Sometimes you want like a good four, three blocker and be able to filter through the deck. And sometimes you want to be able to just have like a small thing and, and invoke and get a really good invoke card. So it's nice having like the variety of them. So depending on the situation, you, you have the card that you want. All right, but there we go. That was Victor by Zoe. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. If you've played this deck before, let me know how it's gone for you. Or if you're somebody that's just picking it up right now, let me know what you think of the deck. Um, yeah, hopefully y'all uh, give this one a try. Hopefully it works good. Again, another shout out to Ruben Zhu, the uh, Legends of Runeterra developer and card balancer and stuff that put this deck together. Um, yeah, it's it's good. Targon's good. All right, but that's all I got here for Victor by Zoe. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.